Here is a scale diagram of the top view of a truck. So think of this as the top of the cab. This right here is the hood, and this is the back or the bed of the truck. Another thing that's really important to notice here is that the scale is one to 50. So if I would have one centimeter on this drawing, that would equal 50 centimeters in real life. And again, this is a reduction because in real life, the object is actually bigger than this. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> Trucks do tend to be a little bit larger than something that can fit on a piece of paper. So the length of the truck is four meters. So on the scale diagram, in real life, this length right here would be four meters. The front and back wheels are 3.85 meters apart. How far apart should the wheels be on the scale diagram? So again, we need to bring into, uh, uh, bring into the situation that the scale is 1 to 50. So a way, that we can, a way that we can represent it is either 1 over 50 or 50 over 1, depending on what we need. So since we're going from a big to small, we need to use our scale factor as a fraction here that's less than uh, 1. So what we would do here is since we're going from big to small, we use 1 over 50. Why? Because 1 50th is less than 1, whereas 50 over 1 is greater than 1. So we would take our, uh, our scale factor and we would multiply it by our dimension. So we would take our scale factor 1 over 50 and we would times it by our dimension here which is 3.85 meters. When I do that, I get the final answer of 0 0.077 meters. But when we're talking about a drawing that's this big, it's not necessarily helpful to talk about it in meters. Let's talk about it in centimeters. So we know that there are 100 uh, centimeters in a meter. So divide meters by 100 to get centimeters. Divide, to divide by 100, I just simply, um, sorry, I just simply move the um, decimal place to the right too. So I would say that that is going to be 7.7 .7 centimeters apart. What is the width of the truck? So what we need to do first is measure, scale diagram. And since we're going from small to big, we're going to use the scale factor in its reciprocal form. We're going to say we're going to use 50 over 1, or simply 50. So when I measure this with my ruler, which everybody should have out, I measure this as, on the scale diagram, 3.2 centimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the scale factor and I'm going to multiply it by the dimension. So uh, the dimension here we said was uh, 3.2 centimeters. And the scale factor, since we're going from small to big, we're going to use uh, 50. And when I say small to big, we're going from our scale diagram to our actual. Okay, and our actual in this situation is bigger than the scale diagram. So we're going to say 50, 50 times 3.2 uh, centimeters. And that is going to be 160 centimeters. Or we can say it's going to be 1.6 meters. Why? Because there are 100 centimeters in a meter. And so we're going to move that decimal place. We're going to divide by... Um, divide by uh, 100, move that decimal place over to this, so it's 160 centimeters or 1.6 meters. So the biggest thing that I want you to get out of here is scale diagrams.
can also be smaller. This is called a reduction. In reductions, scale, uh, scale factors are less than one. So what I want you to do is find the 7.2 worksheet. And there are answers uh, in the back of the worksheet.